Hi, I'm Ben Mearns and welcome to Advanced GeoServer. My background in IT and GIS includes web development for clients in research, education, government, healthcare, and commerce. I know the ins and outs of GIS from the developer, manager, educator, and user perspectives. As a developer, I've used GeoServer to develop a campus mapping system for a large university, and as a manager, I've led the maintenance of the data behind that enterprise system. As an educator, I've taught college classes, led workshops, seminars, and lectures, and contributed to published works related to GIS, web development, data science, open software, and open data. I know about user needs because I've consumed GIS for my own work, as well as supporting those that do so for theirs. Most recently, I authored a book on the open source GIS desktop package QGIS with PACT. This course will cover web processing services, speeding up your app with tile caching, optimizing GeoServer to get the best and most stable performance, and putting your GeoServer-backed app into production. This overview video will give some details about what's to come. In Section 1, you will learn about how to create web processing services to expose your data for live geospatial processing by your end user. In Section 2, you will learn all about tile caching and how to use it to create an app and resolve any issues that may occur. In Section 3, you will learn techniques to get the best performance out of GeoServer through data formats and clustering and ensure reliable performance for your end user. In Section 4, you will learn about how to add secure authentication to your GeoServer resources with TLS and GeoServer's authentication management system. In Section 5, you will learn the final steps in putting your app into production, including hosting options and management tasks. The target audience for this course has a good understanding of GeoServer use and web hosting. The hardware software requirements are broadly a PC running Windows, Linux, or Mac OS from the last five years. The emphasis is on Windows with coverage of Linux. Mac users will find the GUI approach in Windows most applicable to their own environment. By the end of the course, you will understand how to put a GeoServer-backed app into production on host infrastructure with the best performance and reliability.